Hi, this is Yaga here. You just got solid flow and now you want to start using as soon as possible. Today I want to share with you a quick guide about how to install and condition solid flow. But please be aware, this is just a quick guide. Probably your process has many more variables, which I cannot explain everything here in this short video. This is just a quick setup to give you an idea and first impressions about how quick it's the basic idea of solid flow. Okay? So let's do it. First of all, the system. Solid flow consists in a weld-on socket for the mounting. This weld-on socket you have to weld in your pipe. But where to weld? Basically, we recommend a minimum of 300 millimeters of inlet section from the falling point to the sensor level. Why? In this section, we expect the material to get more dispersed. And this is a key thing. For solid flow, the material should be very well dispersed. So now you gotta weld the weld on socket. Okay, now you should drill a hole inside of the weld on socket. In this segment, you select using ring how much of the sensor should be inserted in the weld on socket to get the same level of your pipe. The sensor comes already with the cable, but if you want to install the evaluation unit far away from the sensor, you need the C1 box and then you connect the sensor to the C1 box and this C1 box to the evaluation unit. There is two possibilities for the evaluation unit, the one with touch screen and the one without touch screen. The big one with that screen, you can have also industrial protocols, Profibus, Ethernet, and so on. The small version, only Modbus. Both units you can connect direct to your PLC using analog output. Both units you can connect the USB cable and calibrate using your PC. So, you have the well known socket sensor, C1 box, evaluation unit, and then let's calibrate. First of all, you have to configure the zero point. With the sensor there, we want to measure the noise inside of the pipe. Then you go to the calibration section, and in the first point, you write zero, and you press the arrow for the noise section. Zero, calibrated. Now, let's calibrate with material. Please write it down. You have to know the amount of material which you're gonna pass in the pipe before or after the sensor. So, for example, you have 200 kilograms and you're gonna pass for five minutes. You're gonna know that. If you don't know the right amount of material, it's not possible to calibrate the sensor. You only will get trained about the flow, okay? Only a trained. Now, let's calibrate with material. It's time to pass in front of the sensor a certain amount of material. In our example here, we have this hopper with plastic pellets, screw feeder, free fall, and the sensor. Then we can control the screw feeder speed. Just a moment, if you want to learn how to use data logger, there's another video here. You can just click and watch how to create a data logger. Then you can create using Excel, uh, trends, you can analyze your data. Okay, let's get back. With all of this data, we can create a graphic and get the average, the average of your flow rate. Using the average, we can get a value and relate this value to your flow rate. Doing that, we get a basic calibration. And right after this calibration procedure, the sensor could read 20 and 40 tons per hour. Just for an example. This is the basic calibration and basic installation for solid flow. And let's say, in your application, your material used to clog in the walls of the pipe. 
In this case, we used to recommend this Teflon cap. The Teflon cap uses a different welding socket, a bit larger. It avoids the material covers the front of the sensor, okay? Or let's say your application works with a very high temperatures and very high pressures. We can use, for example, ceramic adapter. The sensor is installed a little bit far from the application point and you can remove the sensor and keep your application sealed. That's a big deal, for example, in pneumatic transport. A normal pipe diameter for solid flow, it's up to 200 millimeters. This is the maximum for one sensor. But let's say in your pipe, we're talking about 300, 400, or even 600 millimeters diameter, okay? Then we can associate more sensors. We can go up to 600 millimeters diameter with three sensors in 120 degrees installation. And after all of this, you wanna learn more about solid flow? Right after this video, there's a link for the product information and all of the Inver SWR systems for bulk solid materials, for dust measurement, for moisture measurement, and much more. Once more, this is just a quick guide. If your application requires a bit more information, quick look, don't hesitate, be in touch, send an email, and let's talk about it, okay? Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more innovations in solids measurement. Ciao, ciao!